Right, is there a way of sticking these things together? Right. No, I can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? That goes there. No, I can't do that. It goes there! No, I can't do that. Alright, okay, so assumedly I've got this wrong then. I must put these pieces on the ground in order to better piece this totem together. Yes. I must put these pieces on the ground in... Yeah, alright. That's what I want you to no, do. I can't do that. Is there any way I can put this instead? No, yeah, it goes here. No, I can't do that. Okay, then let me pick I this up. these pieces on the ground in... Yeah, let me pick it up then. I must put these pieces on the... Right, either it's wrong... In which you should let me pick him up again. Or they're right. In which... Oh. Part of an Indian Aha! That's why. Ugh. Elementary. My fault. Now we climb our way up. We have our blow darts. <laughs> Don't make me play the blowpipe. The bagpipes. Blowpipes. Not exactly an inappropriate name. Games room in the dungeon. Elementary. What was elementary? <laughs> I need something. You need what? Huh. Nothing special here. So new This may prove to be useful. I need something. Um Ah Was not paying attention at all. This may prove to be useful. I need something. I came down a level. I must find a way to get back up. Right. Um. Nothing special here. Yes, of course not. This may prove to be useful. I need something. What, what did I do with the glass? With this system, I can see how the rope is attached. What rope? Ha! I need something. Okay, can I access my inventory? Oh, that's me! That's me! It's me! Bagpipe with darts. Ha! Open. Right, is the way to to open this? Oh, I was meant to rotate round and shoot. But I, I want to get out now. Didn't seem to be able to do it in that picture. More swords. Oh, I thought that was a cutscene. Hello! A new message. What now? Mr. Holmes, I must hastily scribble these few words, as I hear you behind me and the seconds are precious. Our game is nearing the end, and while I thought that I would have to throw in the towel, I was dissuaded, and I'm eluding you again. There is one more feat to accomplish, which to me is but child's play. This event will have a cataclysmic effect, and only you can prevent it. I must give you a hint according to the rules of our game. I entered through the stone walls by first entering through the wooden walls. Tonight I will enter a building which is like both of these places at the same time. And time will stop. Her Majesty is nevertheless safe. It wasn't without difficulty, but I managed to get her to accept a triple retinue. It's strange, but something has changed in her since this incident. After her understandable anger, she seemed incredibly serene, even playful. I've never seen her like that. When I ah! her, she was dreamy. Regardless, nothing happened to her, and that's all that matters to us. <sighs> I have placed an additional 12 of our best agents amongst the staff at her country residence. My goodness, intruding into Buckingham Palace like that. That Frenchman isn't lacking in daring. And all for nothing, it would appear. How is that? Lupin went through all that trouble without succeeding? Perhaps this will put an end to all this folly. If we are to believe the calling card that Lupin left for me in the basement at Buckingham, it would appear he accomplished his aim, although he didn't specify what that was. Furthermore, uh... he seems determined to bring this whole enterprise to completion and commit his last theft tonight. 
If he succeeds, we will have lost a fifth battle, and with it, the war. National humiliation is in the offing, our Waterloo. Holmes, how can you be so defeatist? You haven't clearly explained how Lupin managed to escape from the Queen's bedchamber and the palace. But he seems to have had a fair bit of luck yet again. It can't last forever. In addition, we are English and must claim what is rightfully ours. Well put, Dr. Watson. As courageous as he is, I assure you he took nothing from his quick pass through the Queen's bedchamber. Either way, there was nothing to take. The bedchamber, like Her Majesty's lavatory, are models of austerity. As for the crown jewels and other adornments, they can be found in a steel cage at the other end of London. The tower, Lupin probably. Is nothing but a braggart, a trite cat burglar who got incredibly lucky and will soon find himself shackled at the ankles and wrists in one of the dankest cells at Dartmoor. Tell me, Dr. Watson, what do these phrases mean and where must we go in order to put an end to this masquerade? Right, so, complaints. Why does Queen Victoria wear black? That's because her husband, um, uh, uh, Prince Albert, I don't know why I, why I was struggling with that, uh, died because she was so in love with him. And from then on, she would always have the maids lay out uh, clothes for him and clothes for her and she's taken with this random French person who walks into her house palace uh, something to do with time part of me thinks uh, Greenwich maybe at where we want to go okay fair enough because it's further to the we've already been there Mr. Abbey. Might be the clock tower. That's the only thing, real thing we've got of time, isn't it? I think it's probably going to be uh, the uh, St. Stephen. Uh, it'll be St. Stephen's Tower. Not uh, Big Ben. Is it calling that the clock tower? Bracket brackets. Big Ben. So um, the clock. It's called the clock tower, or now it's called the Elizabeth Tower, or um, St. Stephen's Tower, as it was originally called, because. Parliament met in St. Stephen's Hall, and then they moved to the Houses of Parliament, and so they called it St. Stephen's Tower, because it was to do with Parliament. Um, Big Ben is the bell, and it is the most known symbol of England itself, so of course it's going to be the climax and the grand finale, um, and it's got time. There it is, I'm certain. Hurrah, Doctor! Quickly, there isn't a second to lose. The whole of the police force will join us there. I've got it! He entered by dint of a clock in a great palace of stone. He is going to a location that is a bit of both. A great clock made out of stone. Palace of Westminster Big also ben. applies. My word, Dr. Watson. You are correct. I will immediately summon all of London's police force in order to set a trap around Big Ben. You are both to join me in an hour. Tonight will be a big night, my fellow compatriots. A night for victory over the French who are... <sighs> ah, Holmes, I no longer feel tired all of a sudden. The prospect of Lupin's capture has ignited me. Indeed, I have the wherewithal too. I caught you unawares on the last riddle, didn't I, Holmes? Well, Holmes... Quite true, Watson, quite true. I will have Mrs. Hudson prepare us a little refreshment that will tide us through the night. It promises to be long and exciting. Meeting the Prime Minister at Big Ben. I am sure that... You will have to give my apologies to the Prime Minister, as I won't be joining you this evening. <gasps> Holmes! Tonight we are going to catch the most notorious thief in all of Europe. We will win the final victory, the one which will win the war. We will reclaim England's honour and without fail get our hands back on the Fighting Temeraire, the Six Ravens and the Rosetta Stone. You would miss all? These last few days have been trying, Watson. In any event, what purpose would I serve? You're the one who solved the riddle of the card, correct? Enough, Holmes. When you aren't in the limelight, you behave like a selfish bore, a vexation, and you act like a spoiled child. In that case, I will go alone to catch Lupin. 
and I swear I will not record this installment of your adventures. You are pitiful. I'm sorry, who let him into the museum? Watson? Hmm. Here, we are in place. Inspector, have you checked the plan? Affirmative, Prime Minister. Half of Scotland Yard is in the building. The other half is spread out over the vicinity with mobile patrols. No one can pass unseen. The museum, again. There's nothing else to do but wait. This will be our revenge. The merit belongs to you, dear Doctor. You will have the honor of bringing the news of our triumph to Her Majesty. Thank you. But we cannot forget Holmes, who... By the by, where is he? He preferred to remain at Baker Street. I think he is somewhat vexed that I was able to resolve the affair. Hmm. <laughs> we wouldn't be molly coddling Holmes. Too bad for him. He learned of Lupin's capture through the papers. Why is the Prime Minister involved in this so heavily? Has he got nothing better to do with this? Anything? <clears throat> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, Lupin is certainly making us wait. It's already been four hours that... Enough, Lestrade, enough. I know how to count. Listen. Shh. What? I hear a noise. Like a motor. A small motor. Well, you have a good ear, because I don't hear anything with this cursed TikTok. Shh. Keep quiet. There is a strange noise, I tell you. It's true. It's behind the door. Quick, Lestrade, it's him. It's Lupin. What? What can he be up to? Watch out! I'm going to open the door. I'll see. So, Inspector? What are you doing? Wake up, you lot of bungles! Oh, it's the gas, isn't it? It was nothing. Just the snores of the men on duty. It was the gas. Oh, Lestrade. You keep your men in line. Hmm. You ought to congratulate Dr. Watson. A bit more, and it would have been the longest police hideout of all time. Calm, gentlemen. C calm. Lupin won't be long now. You have lost. Our sentence tra trumped you. You didn't make the right choice. England's honour is flat as never before. The what? The press is echoing with the famous French burglar's success. The entire world is mocking the British... Inspector Lestrade has been transferred to the position of traffic warden in the Shetland Isles. The British Prime Minister is on permanent holiday, as for Sherlock Holmes, declaring himself to be at fault. He has decided it was his last case. Her Majesty is nevertheless safe. Right, right, okay. Where the bed loop? Right. Let's... That's annoying. If it's not right, don't have this little random cutscene saying, Oh, it's right! I thought it was wrong, but I thought you were actually gonna go somewhere with it. Uh, this one, I will give you a hint. I, w I entered through the stone walls by ent first entering through the wooden walls tonight. I will enter a building which is bo like both of these at once, and time will stop. So they expect you to go there because time will stop. Something to do with time. Wooden walls and. I assume wherever you pick, there's a little scene like that. It's something to do with these wooden walls. I mean, with time stopping, I would have thought it would have been kind of akin to Greenwich. Bank of England. Many illustrious graves are sited under this roof. Time will stop. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm hovering too much around there. Hmm. Thinking of possible Westminster Abbey. I can't really think of many other good places that would fit. Because there's no walls around. You can't really see any. Make out any walls around these areas. Hmm. British Museum. We've already been there, so I don't think it's going to be there again. Same with the Trafalgar Square. Justice Court. Hmm. I'm going to go with Westminster Abbey, because that's where William the Conqueror was crowned. There it is, I'm certain. Hurrah, Doctor! Quickly, there isn't a second to lose. The whole of the police force will join us there. Right, Holmes didn't make a thing of, oh, I'm not going to come with you, so... Yeah, uh. we are in place. 
Inspector, have you checked the plan? Affirmative, Prime Minister. Half of Scotland Yard is in the building. Oh no, the it's the same cutscene again. The with mobile patrols. No one can pass unseen. Perfect, gentlemen. There's nothing else to do but wait. This will be our revenge. The merit belongs to you. Thank you. By the by, he preferred to remain... Oh, no. Bad. It's the same one again, isn't it? <clears throat> well, enough. Yeah, yeah, it's the same one. Same one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Your tongue. Right. And we failed again. Uh -huh. Majesty in right. How is that if we are to the home? Where the bed loop? I don't think there's any logic. Um. Yes. So time will stop. I'm trying to think because uh, right. Clutch and yes. The wooden stone walls. Oh, we're back at the tower. What's that got to do with time? Perhaps here, at the Tower of London. My dear Watson. I should point out, Doctor, that Lupin has already been there. That was my That's thought. True. Hmm. But the message in the card... I've got it! He entered by dint of a clock in a great palace of stone. He is going to a what? location that is a bit of both. A great clock made out of stone. Big Ben! My word, Dr. Watson. You are correct. Uh... I will immediately summon all of London's police force in order to set a trap around Big Ben. Um... You are both I... to join me in an hour. Tonight will be a big night, my fellow compatriots. A night for victory over the French who are... I didn't... Ah, oh, Holmes, I no longer feel tired. But I, uh, true, Watson. I will have Miss. You will have to give my apology. But, Holmes but I, I know. I didn't. What? I said. My dear Watson was unwittingly very close to the truth. I believe it is indeed the tower right. where Lupin will go tonight. Let's go see. That what? I'm. So aha! It's the Tower of London. Oh, I think it's Big Ben, and I'm horribly wrong. I'm... I'm really confused by what's going on. What? What's the point in giving me control of... Watson to make a pick, and then have him in a cutscene say something else? I'm terribly, awfully confused. Um, so, I'm I, and I'm going to take a break. Partially because of that, and partially because... Oh, no! No! No, I want to. Oh, I want to sign off. Oh well. Here we are in place, Inspector. Have you checked the plan? Affirmative, Prime Minister. Half of Scotland Yard is in the building. The other half is spread out over the vicinity with mobile patrols. No one can pass unseen. Perfect, gentlemen. There's nothing else to do but wait. This will be our revenge. The merit belongs to you, dear Doctor. You will have the honor of bringing the news of our triumph to Her Majesty. Thank you. But we cannot forget Holmes, who... By the by, where is he? He preferred to remain at Baker Street. I think he is somewhat vexed that I was able to resolve the affair without him. <sighs> we wouldn't be molly-coddling Holmes. Too bad for him. he will learn of Lupin's capture through the papers. Right. If I'm mistaken, I'll be the only one to know. However, if I am correct, Lupin has very little lead on me and will remain unaware of my presence here. Ah, that's why he didn't say. Um, so, as I was saying, <laughs> I'm a bit confused by the uh, jumping around from the last one, where it's like, Ah, it's, uh, it's, ah, it's the Tower of London, when you're controlling Watson, and then Watson says, No, it's Big Ben! Uh, and, and then goes off on his own little thing. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what time's got to do with this place, but uh, uh, we'll find out next time, as assumably this is the grand finale. Finale, finale, finale. Uh, but that will be next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.